Welcome to my presentation, Agile, not just for Agile. So in this presentation, I will show several typical misunderstandings about Agile and the related stories about the Agile transformation in Snat Electric. This is the comparison between the World 4 model and Agile model. In the World 4 model, typically, there are four stages requirements definition, design stages, implementation stages, system test stages. Normally, it would take a longer time to get a formal release product, and then customers check this product. It is highly possible that the final release of product is not exactly the same as the customer exact expectations. Moreover, sometimes the released products never come true, which means that it's very difficult to get a, get to, to get a release a product or the project is has a lot meet some problems, but these issues were not formally reported until that's the, the deadline of the project approaching. In Agile model, the whole program is divided into several program increments. Each PI session has several iterations. The duration of each iteration is fixed, such as one month, and the proper develop scope is defined. For each iteration, it includes the process such as plan, do, check, and adjust. Iteration provides a regular predictive cadence for teams to produce an uh, increment of values as well as we find those progress develop developments. The, the main benefit of agile model is the active involvement of customers and the stakeholders. So the whole big project can be well monitored and adjusted properly with some flexibility. This is also a comparison between the World 4 model and Agile model. Normally, for World 4 model, customers know what they want, and the developers know how to implement, and the changes normally is not so big, and the changes are under control. We continue the project mainly based on the original plan, because the, the, the developer activities are at predictable and we will manage these activities mainly by the documentations by the process control so for in a waterfall model that the scope is almost fixed and the release time flexible but waterfall model is not comfortable to see the change request Sometimes the change request will cause a lot of rework and also maybe cause a big change of the original plan. So what form model is not suit for, suitable for, for such projects where the, the requirements are usually change and the requirements are not so clear. Agile model now is proposed for such projects will we have will a lot of emergency changes and the requirements are not so clear and the customers are invited to participate in the project so in that case that we we would suggest agile model and we will have a fixed time and with a flexible scope so it's so it could be more efficient compared with the waterfall model under the, the the unclear requirements under the requirement changes. Age of manifesto introduces and interactions over the process and the tools. The working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to changes over following a plan. So compared with the waterfall model or we model that's Agile model requires the active involvement of the customer and requires efficient communication within the Agile team. So Agile model provides 
some kinds of the flexibility for the requirement changes. Issue one, misunderstand of what for. What for model is not the opposite of agile. Compared with agile, what for model does not mean slow, does not mean low efficiency. It usually indicates static going, clear requirement, limited change of the requirement. In fact, within those successful agile cases, Phil mentioned that agile can significantly reduce the developer Develop the period. On the contrary, agile may take a longer time if the organization cannot fully accept agile's values and principles. Stories in Schneider. We started the agile transformation from the beginning of 2019. Before that, we mainly applied the waterfall model and the V model, which was an improvement of the waterfall model. Our products are mainly the intelligence electronic devices for power system. And our products features are getting more and more complicated. And meanwhile, that we receive the dynamic requirements from the worldwide market. And sometimes the requirements are not so clear. And the software engineers are usually not having the related application knowledge. So we will expect that the customer involvement can help the project to deliver a, a qualified expected products. But progress that <clears throat> in the progress process model that we usually got a big surprise when we see the final release of product, more or less, that this, the release of product is not the same as our, as our expectation. And sometimes we cannot get the final release of product because, because the requirements are not so clear and the requirements are getting bigger and bigger. So we got the complaints from Andy that the requirements killed the project. In fact, our R&D is more comfortable with the waterfall model and we model based on steady and clear requirements. But we, we have to change the model because we have to meet our customer requirements, meet these unclear and dynamic requirements. So, so we have to perform the agile transformation. Misunderstanding, second, the misunderstanding of fast changing. Agile's fast is not for the team's change. Agile fits well in a stable team, easy to reach the common sense. Instead, what for can handle with the team that's a lot of newcomers. Since it's, it's what, what for model relies on the process control, relies on the documentation for within the team. But for Azure, we rely on the data communication. We rely on a stable team for efficient communications. Stories in Schneider. Azure requires a material team require efficient communications. There are less documentation in Azure model, and the data communications within the team is quite necessary and important. A new team member mainly learn from the others, from the communications with his team members. Not so many documentations support, his, support him to get familiar with the project. But previously in Wii model and the, and the waterfall model, there are many documentations released. The third misunderstanding of transformation. The ideolo ideological transformation is the most difficult thing, especially required on the home team. The typical typical it start started from the team leaders. It's definitely not the way to go by change the title just by change the title from project manager to scrum master, from product manager to PO, or simply cancel team leader. Agile, not only for the sake of Agile's name. We need to embed the Agile's principle into a project, not just change the name. 
So in Snyder, we we start we started the age of transformation from new product developments. And the project team got trainings and practice. The age of master was directly involved in the project at the very beginning. But there are some still there's some old products. Enhancement of the gazing products still follow the waterfall mode or V model. Misunderstanding four. Not only for the sake of Ajax name, there are two bad examples. With fixed requirements, customers need not join the demo before delivery. This is a misunderstanding. Customer involvement is quite important for Ajo principle. Without the customer involvement, but meanwhile, the structure executes the iteration after three weeks and forcing developers to break down the soft modules in a mess. This is this is a type of misunderstanding of the age of principle. In the second bad example is incompetent PO and PM act as customer's voice tube to the developers, incapable to negotiate or guide with the customers of requirement to cause the rework. So it is very important to allow a proactive customer involvement in the develop process in the develop activities. So in Schneider, that we have a PI planning session quarterly, and during this during the two days PI planning session, all the team members are required to join and to commit to the business and the technical girls that the HRTs and the risk tree intends to achieve in the upcoming PI. And we will also have the monthly PI planning, iteration planning, planning. The teams commit to a set of girls to be delivered in one iteration. And we have a data stand up that team, me, team members need to, pro, need to do some effective communications about the about iteration girls. And at the end of the iteration, we will have the system demo as an iteration reveal, the deliverables revealed by the stakeholders and the related customers are invited. Asia will train the program and the event session. So the most important is the system demo. During the system demo that the Customers or the product application engineers are involved, directly involved. They will reveal the, the new delivered features and provide the comments. If necessary, that these features will, will be adjusted during the next iteration. So this is very important for, for agile mode, for agile transformation. The main benefit is to avoid the final surprise if we so the early involvement of the customers or the application engineers could help to help avoid the final the big surprise at during the final release. So we can more, we can be more flexible to adjust the, the developer features, to adjust the understanding of the customer requirements. The fifth misunderstanding, misunderstand of required management. Embracing changes does not mean with the requirement management, we still need a careful requirement management. Three wrong ideas. First, Asia does not need to require management since it's accepting changes all the time. This is totally wrong. The second point that the change ever seen, ever real because of customer oriented. No. In fact, in fact, during one, during each iteration, most of the changes, requirement changes, are, are rejected. If it is necessary, we can consider the, consider the new requirements or the requirement changes in next iteration, or we can replace the 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 existing plan with a new requirement. But we will not rec. But we will we will not recommend. A frequent, a, a usually change of the requirement during iteration, 
we try to avoid and reject the change of the iteration, change of the requirement during iteration. We can consider these new features in the in next iteration planning and put the change requirement into the backlog. Stories in Schneider, Azure needs the solid requirement management. The program backlog consists of upcoming features that are planned to be delivered. The candidate features for the PI are split into stories by teams and tentatively scheduled into coming iterations in the team backlog. We try to avoid the change of the current iteration. If really necessary, a new change is accepted by substitution according to the priorities. But I want to emphasize in our practice, normally we do not recommend the changes during the iterations. The, the changes will be planned, will be considered in iteration planning. The last issue, misunderstand on teamwork. Improves on teamwork with effective communications. The data stand up standard meeting takes a long time and sometimes it could be ambiguous outcomes. So we are trying to focus on the effective communication during the meeting data stand up meeting. Improper, improper appropriate size of your story and the vagrant definition of interface leads to the field demo. Incompetence review to cause direct low efficiency or total waste of time. So in Schneider that we, age transformation needs a continuous improvement of teamwork. As I mentioned previously, two days peer planning of whole project team will happen quarterly. The your story are elaborated and translated with any language. The interface of each function block are clearly defined. The product application engineers and some customers are directly involved in the system demo. So Azure Go, the goal of Azure is to ensure the development controllable, not go, 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 but come, 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 come down of resource management, come down of required management, and come down of the development of the development plan. Here, Azure is not just for Azure's name. Azure is for controllable of a bigger project with the dynamic and unclear requirements. Thanks, thanks for your attention to my presentations. Azure, not just for Azure. Azure transformation started two years ago in Schneider and Azure transformation is very important for the successful project delivery. Azure is not equal to a high efficiency. It does not make sense for every project. It's not, it does not mean a fast change of project team. The key principle of Azure is the proactive involvement of the customers during the project developments. The, the system, system demo with the customer involvement can help identify the possible deviations between the delivered features and the customer expectations. Azure also requires a key requirement management. We, we would try to reject or avoid the requirement changes during the iteration, and, but, but we can consider the requirement change into the backlogs and plan and consider it in the next iteration plan. So Azure is it is it's a it's more suited for the project where the requirements are not clear or requirements are dynamic changes and the the customer involvement can help the well management of this project and de risk this project. Okay, thank you very much for your attention and I'm looking forward for your for your questions in the next QA session. Thank you, bye bye.